Dopo avervi mostrato vari terminali dell'azienda sudcoreana Samsung, siamo pronti adesso a osservare da vicino il Galaxy Beam, terminale presentato l'anno scorso al Mobile World Congress ma solamente in veste di prototipo, quest'anno arriva la versione ufficiale e possiamo adesso, grazie ad un addetto appunto Samsung, vederne una breve presentazione. Ricordiamo che il dispositivo ha come particolarità principale quella di montare direttamente e nativamente un proiettore al suo interno. Here you can kind of see the uh, nice, good detail, the vivid colors. You can pull it back by about two meters, at which point the display will be about 50 inches. And you don't need to put it on any, any kind of fancy screen if you don't want to. You can put it on the ceiling, or carpet, or the table, or a shirt, or your hands. It'll work pretty much anywhere. Uh, the default behavior of the projector is to mirror whatever's on the screen. So whether you're using, uh, you're looking at photos or videos or a presentation or a website, whatever. Uh, there are two other options though, other major tools. One is the visual presenter, which will turn the phone into kind of like an overhead projector. It will use the rear camera to project onto the wall. So it's a little dark, just turn on this, the uh, flash, and I'm going to rotate it here. And you can see that it's showing what the camera sees. It's good for uh, product demos or showing photos, documents, uh, whatever you can think of really. Um, you can do it. Uh, with this is also another kind of nice tool. It's called the Quick Pad. And this will let you kind of annotate whatever you may be viewing on the screen, presentation or website or whatever. So for example, let's say you wanted to kind of highlight what you're talking about, you can use a pen tool to underline things, or draw, or if you just feel like an artistic mood, you can draw pictures. Um, or if you want, you can use a pointer tool, and you can kind of just have people follow along with what you're uh, reading, or showing them, whatever. Uh, the phone is powered by Android 2.3. It will have an official update to ICS 4.0. Uh, it's powered by a dual core, one gigahertz processor, and the phone itself will be released by the end of Q2, so the first half of this year. Uh, it will also have the um, optional speaker dock here. It's a uh, dual power, dual powered speaker. Uh, it will also charge the phone and it has a rotating hinge here, so you can kind of have a portable home cinema like this. Or you can put it behind your bed stand, you can watch movies in bed. And it's also kind of a portable projector as well. Uh, it weighs 145 grams, which is very light. Uh, that is basically the Galaxy Beam. Do you guys have any questions? Do you want to play around with it a bit or anything like that? Okay. Uh, <laughs> how changed the, the book? If they, if, and the, the time of the book. I'm not sure if it's user replaceable because it's, yes. it is LED and it does have a 20,000 hour lifespan. It's LED? Yes. Yeah, that's right, right, right. So I guess the idea is that you won't ever need to because it's, it's a long lifespan. <laughs> okay. Right. Okay. And uh, the focus? Right. So right, it, it is a manual focus. Let me show you real quick. Uh, right now we control it with the volume button, uh, but with the final software release when the phone is released, okay. it's getting blurry here. Uh, with, the, with the final final software release, there'll be a UI to change the focus. Uh, but right now with the demo unit, it's the volume button. Uh, okay. Right. And you do have the option to also change the uh, orientation as well. All right. <laughs> Okay.